every time i ask my mother about a recipe or how to make something she sends me voice notes which is why i thought the best way to share a part of her a part of me and the memories around this food with you is through a voice note now this may not be the most authentic recipe for dhansa or pulao because technically neither of us is no one in my family actually is parsi but i think that's the unique part of growing up in a place like bombay where so many cultures and traditions and people's lived experiences start feeling like your own and also the way my mom cooks without recipes without real measurements has made this into something that only she makes and only tastes this way when she makes it i'd highly recommend you listen to the whole voice note before you start making it or attempting to make dhansak because somewhere in the middle she'll say oh i forgot to say in the first step you should have done something something and it's funny because the measurements don't include any numbers it just says a little of this a lot of that and you have to taste your way through the process and see what you like and i think that's my favorite part about cooking is making it your own making it something that speaks of you and speaks of people you love i think one thing that all my mom's food has always had is a lot of warmth because it's always made with love and very intentionally and i think that's something that i hope through this recipe and through the story will be transferred onto your plate and into your home you can take about half a cup of uh, tur dal half a cup of masoor dal half a cup of chana dal half a cup of urad dal uh, probably increase the tur dal a little <laughs> and uh, you cook this with vegetables a little bit of pumpkin a little bit of uh, eggplant uh some dudhi uh potato carrots so just a little bit like one katori of each and uh, oh, a katori of chopped coriander chopped methi chopped pudina uh maybe half a katori of pudina and uh adrak lasan paste maybe about a approximately a tablespoon uh also chopped uh tomatoes about 1 and 1/2 katori and yeah that's about it you cook all this in the cooker and then you uh mash it up everything together and then you add haldi like half a teaspoon and dhansak masala i use mangal's dhansak masala so about like um in a little oil you fry finely chopped onions maybe another two katoris uh finely chopped onions fried till they like uh almond colored and then you add the dhansak masala maybe one and a half two teaspoons a little bit of chili powder and that's it and you put this chok into the dal and it's like all mashed up the dal on the side you make pulao to go with it which is uh rice and onions and akha garam masala so you fry the onions till they soft then you add the akha garam masala cinnamon cloves pepper uh, 
तेज पत्ता एंड देन यू एड द राइस एंड स्टोर इट अ लिटल बिट एंड देन यू कैन एड द वॉटर सो डबल ऑफ द राइस क्वान्टिटी एंड ऑन द साइड मेक सम कैरमल विथ अ लिल शुगर एंड वॉटर एंड वंस इट्स caramelize properly you add a little more water in it and then add this caramelized water to the pulao to the rice and then cook it i think i forgot jeera <laughs> in that <laughs> okay some jeera in the uh, or oh, as well with the garam masala and yeah so the rice gets a slightly brown light brown color yeah and there it's done